Welcome back to your live, official, continuing coverage of Toy Fair 2015 with the Toy Industry Association on Be Terrific. I'm Michael Artsis. Don't forget, you can hit us up in our live chat room on beterrific.com slash live. Go under the video player, join the IRC chat there. It's free, you can join anonymously or create your own login so we know who you are when you come back. In addition to that, we're on Twitter and Instagram at Be Terrific TV. And of course, you can send us email, connect at beterrific.com. Don't forget, we've got the Michael Artsis Show Monday through Friday, 4 to 5 p.m. Eastern Time every day. All sorts of great guests in studio and via Skype. We talk tech, sports, business, and entertainment. We bring you all sorts of positive, original content and programming on Be Terrific. Meant to inspire and engage you while informing and entertaining you. All right, we've got a great guest here, Spin Master. I've been plugging you guys all day. You're here, Tara Tucker. <laughs> thank you so much for coming on. We've got, oh, so many toys on the set. I don't even know what to talk about first. And I'm just so excited about well, all this. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you so much. We're very happy at Spin Master. As you can see, robots are moving into the home. We don't just have robots, we have real bots. I like that. So, <laughs> uh, you know, these are toys that are robots that uh, are like toys we might want to play with with our kids. Uh, we've got cats and dinosaurs. We've got real robots and we've got all sorts of stuff. And it's all, it all works, it's all very fun. It all works mm -hmm. to teach the kids and, and do all that. Exactly. So what Spin Master does is really takes the best of technology and we incorporate it with what we know best, which are children and children's play patterns. So here we have Zoomer. All right, so we've got Kate that's going to help us demonstrate the toys. This is the Zoomer. Kate is magnificent. She helps bring the toys to life. The wonderful Kate, thank you. So this is Zoomer Kitty. Yep. Zoomer Kitty is coming out this fall for 2015. Our Zoomer Dino just won Toy of the Year overall, Toy of the Year as well as Boy Toy of the Year. So Congratulations, we're I was yeah. going to bring that up. Congratulations, uh, very exciting. What's it feel like when you guys work as a team so hard on this stuff for so long and then you're able to win an award like that Toy of the Year? It's pretty terrific. What we do is we work with the inventors and we don't walk away from the inventors. And I think that's a big point of difference. Yep. So when we, they first came to us, the first thing, the inventors thought that this should be um, a car. And yep. we looked at it and we thought, this is way too lifelike to be a car. Okay, uh, move a little to the side so Adam can get a good shot. Sorry, I just, we're, everybody's looking at us, I needed to. So this is too lifelike to, to have a car. Uh, this looks like um, the first version was a dog. Okay. So when we incorporated the new technology this time, it really took the form of a, a kitty. Yep. <laughs> She's so playful. She's very playful, we <laughs> see that. And, and so it, it seems like it does its own thing. You kind of interact with it, but it kind of interacts back. Yes, it, it has true vision technology. Oh, right, we got to get a mic on you now. Yes. Hold on a sec. Give me your mic, or Chris, there you go. Basically, she has true vision technology, so she actually interacts with me through her eyes. Her eyes change color depending on her mood and her mode. So in cuddle mode, you can see she has purple eyes, and she really does purr. So she, oh, she didn't like it. Just like a real kitty, she doesn't always like to be touched. But she does all kinds of neat tricks. She can play, pounce, and purr. She's very cute, and, and so and she can do all sorts of different stuff. And so you were like, hey, the first thing was a dog. It could be a car, but let's make it a cat. How did you get the cat? Was it what, did, did, Honestly, did Grumpy Cat have anything to do with it? <laughs> Not at all. Okay. It was because she can track and follow with her eyes, yeah. and she could play with the, the kitty toys, similar to a real cat. She can also knead. She can sit up and scratch. This seems like it would be a lot of fun for a kid. I, I could see my son Jack just really enjoying having a cat around. We have a dog. But like, I mean, he could have a, I feel like the dog is a little afraid of Jack at this point. Um, and the, the, the cat would have a little bit more fun with him maybe. And, and he can learn from it too. And next what we wanted to do was really take a look at the Zoomer Dino and yeah. take, again, new technology, make him even better. So, so, so this is a, a, a T-Rex? It's a Jokasaurus. It's a Jokasaurus. <laughs> What's new about him is he's got even more personality, which is another thing that we really try to bring into our robotics line is the personality. Discover we play with kids often. We let them just play with the, the toys, and they loved the humor aspect to some of our toys. So we incorporated it in with the Zoomer Dino in Jester. <laughs> what happens if you pull? I saw you pull the tail before. What happens? Can you do that? He gets mad. He gets He's mad. He does not care this is for that. an angry T Rex. Wow. 
See, my, my son Jack would love this. He, he goes, I go to Jack, I go, what noise does a dinosaur make? And he goes, rawr. <laughs> so this would be perfect. And you can control it remotely as well. Oop, and the you, remote control is easier for smaller hands. Yep. So yes, you can. In addition, he actually burps and farts. He burps and farts. He does. Oh, you know what? All I got to tell you is endless <laughs> laughter. <laughs> Burping and farting never gets old. So since now joining zombie. zombie mode. You have you have two kids. I do. Do you laugh when they burp and fart? Because <laughs> when Jack burps and farts, I laugh. We do laugh. I try not to. Yeah. You, you, you try to hold it and you're like, <laughs> I'm mommy. I can't laugh. But you laugh. You do. You got this big smile in the front seat. You're like, ah, that was a good one. Um, that's how I am. I'm like... All right, I should probably tell you to do that a little bit more quietly or go to the men's room, but yeah. So I am throwing to an, another um, product, which we were talking about in a little bit, but that also has some potty humor in it. Okay. I have not sat through more meetings since I've joined Spin Master ever in my career talking about gas and flatulence. Or, and, and, and now shows. And now shows. Now I'm on TV speaking about it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and uh, live, and we've got a great audience. Um, Janny loves the robots. He's watching in the chat room. He loves robots in general, but he loves this T-Rex. He's going nuts. He's like, I've got to have this. It's unbelievable. He, this thing's a lot of fun. And I think bathroom humor is fun. It you know, used to be we used to uh, keep this off air, not ever talk about it, and, mm -hmm. and just in general, it, behind the scenes, right? But now it's really coming to the mainstream. We had a, a thing on the other day that uh, it was a dog that pooped. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's you great. Can't help but you're, you're giggling, right? You can't help but laughing, and it's part of life, so it's cool. I love this thing. Uh, and what, what is he called again? Zoomer Dino Jester. Zoomer Dino Jester. And he's just going, he's So they're he's both crazy. out in yeah. the fall. They're $100, $99. Yep. And uh, how did you get to, oh, is, is he tired? He's, we, yeah. Oh, he got dizzy because he spun around a lot. That's cool. <laughs> and, and, and we've worn him out a little. Uh, how did you get to Spin Master? What's your story? I have a really unique um, way of maneuvering my career path. So I um, was on the media front. Okay. And what Spin Master realized and what I truly believe is that all good toy companies need to become media companies. And toys need to have a story. They need to be a brand that has a story and need to speak to children wherever they are cross-platform. So my experience is really working on these projects and bringing them to life cross-platform. So at Spin Master we have a launch of Paw Patrol, Little Charmers on Nickelodeon. So we have cartoons that then we bring to life with the physical toys. And as you'll see again in a, another product we're discussing, it's mobile, there's the entertainment uh, cartoon aspect to it, and as well as the game and physical objects. So when you say you were on the media side, were you in publicity, were you in marketing, were you in creating television commercials, or were you actually in like my seat? No, I was on behind the scenes. Okay. I was publisher of Canada's largest women's media brand. Very nice. And we brought the print magazine, which was 85 years old. We brought it back to life, um, reinvigorated all the numbers. We launched television with it, four uh, radio shows. We launched product. Wow, very, very cool, yeah. very interesting. And I love what Spin Master's doing. Uh, Digital Phil writes, he wants to know where he can get these robots. And does he really have to wait till the fall? Yes, he has to wait to the fall. However, the Zoomer Dino that just won Toy of the Year is right now in stores. It is in yes. stores right now. And you can buy them um, at the usual partners. We partner with Toys R Us, we partner with Walmart and Target. All right, let's talk about this big guy over here and because Amazon. this reminds me of Short Circuit, batteries not included. I've been waiting for this for a while. Here we go. This guy is? Mechanoid. Now, are you familiar with Erector Set? Uh, I am familiar. I wasn't very good at them, but I'm familiar. Well, that's good because that you weren't that good at it because now <laughs> oh, we're making it thank easier. You. Okay. Um, but still, that great joy in learning. That does not look easier. Hold you're on, you're hold telling on. me that uh, my son Jack and I are going to build that together? Yes, in about four hours. In four hours. On average, it's three. For you, I'm saying four. I appreciate that. Thank <laughs> you. I like how you handicapped it like we're playing yeah. golf. So, Erector Set, as it was known in the U.S., is Meccano worldwide. It's a 110-year-old brand. You build this robot. 
it is much easier. We've made the instructions easier. We've made the tooling easier. It still works with real nuts and bolts. It's still compatible with the metal pieces that you think of erector set or mechano with. Oh, you said instructions. Maybe that's my problem. I don't read instructions. Exactly. Oh, okay. All right, so we've got instructions. We have instructions. You can build him just as he is, and okay. this is a humanoid. You can also build him as a Dinobot or a Rover, so we provide instructions for all of those as well. Um, and the great thing about this, it really is easy to build and it comes pre-programmed. So he wow. can do many different things. And how much does that cost? This retails for $3.99. He's four feet tall. We also have a little brother that's okay. um, $1.99. He's two I feet like tall. I like it. He I like has it. the same brain. So when you build him, he comes pre-programmed. He can dance, tell jokes, give high fives. Uh, ben and Digital Phil are saying that's awesome. They want to know if they can purchase Mechanoid right now. They, I mean, the, the, the chat room's lighting up like crazy. Not right now. Unfortunately, it's August. He's out in August. August. You can, you can um, purchase the relaunch of the Mechano line, yep. which so, you'll see a so lot of the benefits. This is what you do, is you put it in your calendar right now. Everybody's got a digital calendar. Put it in for August. Yes. You can sign up for um, pre-sale as well. Pre-sale. Yes. Let's Spinmaster do that. SpinmasterToys.com. 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 We're going to... We're gonna Hashtag sign up with, Mechano. Okay. And and we're going to sign up Mechano, uh, M -E -C -C -A -N -O. now. M-E-C-C-A-N-O. And we're going to sign up now to, to be pre-orders. Yes. Oh, and, and, and okay, this is great. What does he do? So if we can have Oh, hold on. You're still attached somehow. Hold on, hold oh, on, Tara. Sorry. We're going to have Chris help you out here because you're still attached even though we gave you the handheld. I'm tearing the studio down. No, you're good. You're all good. Um, so let me ask you something while yes. Chris is doing that. Um, uh, August for Mechanoid, mm -hmm. uh, very, very cool. And it's only going to take me four hours to build that, really? Really. If I follow the instructions, it's eight and plus. it comes with the wires and everything. Eight plus. Eight plus. Eight years and older. All right, Jack's going to have to wait a while, but it I could build come, it. It does come with the wires. It comes with, these are servos. Mm -hmm. So this is what allows him to move. Um, he's easy to program. Well, he's <laughs> I am fully functional and ready for activity. I am Mechanoid G15KS. And now we can do a high five. He could do a high five? Mm -hmm. Wow. Does he walk? He does. He walks. He dances. Maybe we can have him dance for us. Might be a little dangerous with the wires. Yeah. Let, d He's doing ballet. In the words of Digital Phil, pure genius. This is unbelievable. Uh, I'm blown away. It's really awesome. We've been waiting for this since uh, 1986 with I think that was the year Short Circuit came out, yeah, something like that. Exactly. How, what's it like to work at Spin Master? It's really incredible. Yeah. So as a newbie, I can say that I've never seen such passionate, smart, hardworking people that really believe in the project. So I got thrown in actually with Mechanoid, yeah. taking him to CES. I was new to the role and I got to work with the engineers and the designers on this. Mechanoid won Last Gadget Standing. It also won top pick from several magazines wow. and outlets, including You guys PC are really Magazine. on the forefront of all the trends in the toy business, are yeah. you not? We're pushing innovation very, very hard. Product is the number one thing to us. I'm very impressed. And developing that product and maintaining partnerships, how we're getting such great innovation is working with inventors. So one of our partners has been here at the show all day, um, all week. We barely saw him. I got him up to do one interview, but other than that, he's been meeting with inventors. And all of the inventors came to our big Spin Master party because of the relationship that we've developed over the last 20 years. And it's truly a partnership. So we stay with them throughout the lifetime of the product. That's uh, unbelievable. Can, can we move the table out a little bit and then can he, the, the viewers want him to uh, give me a high five and I would love that. Let me move my little uh, set up here. And if you don't give him a high five, he also yeah. responds. He can feel really? that if you've done it or not and he'll throw you a dig if you don't. <laughs> Come here, big guy. I'm Michael, it's nice to meet you. Do you have a name? They're telling me Johnny Five is it, but yeah. I think it's, it's he not. He does look like Johnny Five. Here we go. I'd love a high five right here. What do you think? Can we make it happen? High five. Yeah. High five. High five yeah. Up too I late. Love it. Watch. He's not going to like it. 
<laughs> oh, you didn't like my... <laughs> I just totally got dissed by a robot. I am not going to do well when robots take over the world. Let's try this again. Can we go over another high five? Here we go. Harder. All right. I was okay. afraid to break him. I know. Him. He's, He's durable. Not. He is durable. This is actually polycarbonite. Really? And All we, right. we used that instead of the metal um, intentionally so that he could move. And this is a prototype. And yeah. these prototypes have been working extremely hard. They've been to Germany, Vegas, partying a little too hard in Vegas. I bet. They've been in California, New York. But what stays in Vegas, what happens in Vegas stays yeah. in Vegas even with robots. Yes. All right. <laughs> very, very cool. And then you have one other thing we got to talk about, yes. right? Can it, I say one other thing about this? No, I'm sorry. We have to go. We're out of time. No, <laughs> yes, of course. That's really, really neat. The most important thing, and I'm sure the viewers out there yeah. are very tech savvy, so they'll like this. It comes pre-programmed, and then it's easy to program with learned motion intelligence. It's a push of a button. You can also use a smartphone, and it can mirror your, your what you're doing. It can record those movements and use it. You can call them up later at a later date. Wow. But it's also open source. So if you're a programmer, or a hacker, you can get him to do whatever you want. You can add on additional mechano pieces. You can make them six feet tall. We're also opening the files so you can 3D print You can 3D files. print the parts. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's genius. You guys really are in, into all this stuff and, and into the forefront and on top of your game. I love it. And, and you've thought of everything. Can you put clothes on him? Could you make <laughs> him clothes? Maybe he's going to be cold in New York. <laughs> we, uh, we have some secrets to come for the 2.0 version. B Ben's saying he's a complete camera hog. Um, he is. And okay, so... We have to get close yes. for them in, in the, in the uh, no, but they're loving them. Trust me. They, we need to get close for them. It's cold in New York. All right. So, so we can move him out of the way. We've and got we'll one other thing. We can keep him here. Let's keep Secret him here. I like okay. him. In fact, he's not going anywhere. We're going to just keep him here for the rest of the day. Come um, on in. We're going to talk about sick bricks. <laughs> yes, sick bricks. So you know this whole movement of the fidgetal. Yes. Physical plus digital. Well, it's been We're calling it fidgetal. I like that. Hi, Casey. This is Casey. Hey, I'm Casey. Sorry, I how you doing? You. Good, Welcome to good. the program. Thank you for having me. Can All right. Share our mic? So, sure. um, we've, so sick bricks. Where's uh, we have them somewhere, right? Yes. So we got to add more people to the set, and um, so sick bricks are these little tiny. They're like uh, little stackable over. bricks. Oh. You go. You know, put them on the table. I guess. So let's move the table back in. We're, we're it's okay. We'll we'll lock Mechanoid in here. He's not going anywhere. Um, and then there you have the. Uh, these are the sick bricks. And then you can stack them. You can build them. You can do all sorts of stuff with them. Um, but then you can control them by a game and have them be part of the game. Exactly. So this is Sick Bricks. <laughs> this is our toy to digital game experience. It's fully integrated with a new technology that we feel is very innovative and different. Uh, we definitely aren't the pioneers of this sort of gameplay, but what we've done is we've made it more accessible mm -hmm. and more affordable to the consumer. And we're pioneers in terms of the new technology. So what this has is 3D optical mobile beaming, mm -hmm. which he's about to show you. And this is something new for this type of gaming experience. So this is Six City, uh, a place where zombies, monsters, mutants, and pirates all live in harmony until the evil overlord Omega has taken over the city. And your job is to reclaim the city, rebuild it, and basically, we have this really fun group of cast of characters. Uh, this is Harry Fangface, a really fun werewolf character. Uh, I'll showcase the technology. Basically, it's based off of um, facial recognition. So it recognizes what character is in front of the camera. That's pretty unbelievable. That's amazing. It's going it, to recognize it right off the camera. Yeah, instantly beams him directly into the video game. So now you got Harry Fangface to run around and... And control. Yeah. And you can collect all the different ones, too. Exactly. I like that. So Harry Fangface, he's got this really cool T-bone attack. He throws stakes around. Uh, his special attack is that he howls and scares off enemies. And it's but kind of, it, you've got a physical product and you've got a digital product all at one, you can, and you can kind of really get into it. I like that a lot. Exactly. And maybe you, you really like his T-bone attack, but you really want a different special attack. What you can do is swap out the heads of characters and get new attacks and abilities. So maybe you want to be a ninja werewolf. That's kind of so cool. Wait. I'm already part werewolf, so. <laughs> I'm Teen Wolf. Simply put that toy in front of the camera. Oops, sorry about that. So 
Sorry, sometimes the uh, the background be, can be quite right. complex and hard well, to recognize. you got the ninja on a black background. It might, yeah. might be a little hard. I get it. This is very cool, though. I, thank but you, you so saw, much. But you saw he just got it in that yeah. easy. My five-year-old does this. Your so, five-year-old probably does it better than Casey. No offense, Casey. Yeah. He but apparently Casey, found Casey. a secret area. He he made it all the way into Chinatown, which he was very pleased with. Wow, your five-year-old. My five-year-old. Your five-year-old is Jack too. Yes. So I'm in trouble. Yeah. With my yeah, Jack. You are in big oh, trouble. Oh wow. All right. So just a, a little bit more about the game. It's it's a feature-length console game. It's at base, so you yeah. can download it for free off iOS and Android. Uh, and you so can even airplay it to your TV if you want. Exactly. That's pretty totally. cool. I like doing that. This is awesome. Yeah, and this is just an overview of the entire map. There are 10 different cities that you have to reclaim. Is, is, it, is this available now? This is uh, launching in Canada today. today. Launching in Canada today. Yes. And March 9th. And March 12th for the U.S. launch. Very nice. Okay, and so... Uh, so you, it's a free yeah. app. It's a free app, yep. You Digital Phil play. just asked that, like literally as you said. Literally. It, Jenny, yeah. So you don't need an expensive console or expensive figures. It's a free app, and then we have the, the first packet, which I think we have a sample it's, it's of. It's right here, I think, on the uh, desk. Uh, no, the even smaller for oh. two forty nine for one guy. Uh, you're saying two dollars and forty nine cents. Two dollars and forty nine cents. Two dollars. It's like collecting baseball cards. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So what's great about this technology is there's actually no tech in these figures. There's not an RFID code. There's no sure. it's, digital. You're using augmented reality and uh, recognition. Well, the this well, image, image recognition. Image recognition. Zooms in on the character. Thomas is helping us out with this. You're not the tank engine, are you? Because no, my son loves the tank. No, engine. not the tank engine. But I'm part of. <laughs> Casey and I are part of the same team that uh, oversaw development on Sick Bricks. So the, the, one of the coolest things with the characters is, as, he, as Casey showed you, how it instantly beams into the game. That's based on our, our, uh, our image recognition technology. So it recognizes the character. And as Casey also stated, I think earlier, when you mix and match the characters, it recognizes it as well. So you have all, you have, we have 80 some odd characters at the moment. With all that mixing and matching, it's uh, qu quite a bit of uh, play based on all the, the kind of customization you can do with different characters. It's really awesome. Um, and thank you for that information. Thank you, Thomas. Yeah. I, I don't think we've ever had this many people at one time on the set. I love it. I love Spin Master. You guys are awesome. We are very collaborative. That's yeah. how we work in the office. And I, There's I one last that. thing, though, I have to tell you about this. Really, really quick. Oh, I was just, I was just going to say, look at how oh. you handle that microphone. You're like a pro <laughs> veteran reporter right there. Just. Um, we also, this we created over 40 cartoon shorts that will be airing on the Cartoon Network as well as Spindo TV, which is our YouTube channel. You guys just think of everything, don't you? I, I can see why you guys won the Toy of the Year. It's innovation, and that's what I'm looking for here, and I think that this is among the most innovative things we've seen, if not the most innovative. It's really awesome, it's really fun, and I love where play is going with all this education, interaction, and I love that you guys won Toy of the Year. Congratulations Thank again. You. Before we go, we're gonna go to break with, I think, is this correct, Peter? Peter Poon's got this set up. We're going to go to break with um, something. Uh, oh, uh, Thomas, stand you. right there. Thank you. <laughs> um, we're going to go to break with you guys have a, uh, a Star Wars uh, thing coming out. And this is, I haven't yes. even seen this yet. This is a surprise for not only the audience, but me as well. It's a big Star Wars thing. We are the first to debut this. This is a, uh, yeah. an exclusive from Spin Master. So, guys, get excited about this. Um, and you're going to see this is a Star so Wars. Yeah. What you're actually seeing is a toy. Yep. I need to say that because you won't believe that's a toy. This is a toy. It's a toy. Okay. And I'm going to be that blown away? You're going to be that blown away. All right. It's going to take us to commercial. I'm sure we'll chat about it in the chat room. Guys, enjoy. When's it available? Star Wars. The, the yeah. Star Wars piece. Yeah. September 4th. September 4th. So you got to put that in your calendar. Mm -hmm. you got to go to Spin Master's website. What is the website one more time? Spinmaster.com. Spinmaster.com. It's as simple as that. I want to thank everybody at Spin Master. You're an amazing team. You're an amazing group of people. Thank you for making this happen. Thanks for coming out. And thanks for making these amazing toys. we got to have them. You all are unbelievable. Susie and Kate, Thomas and Casey. Of course, Tara. I'm sure I'm forgetting somebody. This set yeah. is completely full. And, of course, I want to thank the Be Terrific crew for making all this happen because they work so diligently behind the scenes. Peter Poon, Adam Holtz, and, of course, uh, the great uh, Chris Von Sino. All right, they're all amazing. We'll be back right after this with a whole lot more from your live continuing Toy Fair 2015 official coverage at the Jacob K. Javits Center in New York City. Thank you so much, Tara. We're going to go to break with this. It's an exclusive, a new amazing toy from Spin Master Star Wars. Don't miss this. A Jedi strength flows from the Force. But beware of the dark side. 
Much to learn, you still have.